All right, welcome back. Um, today's going to be a short video. It's about 50 degrees out where I live, and I'm not trying to sit inside by any means. So um, I had this caliper for this Kazuma Red Cat for about a month. Sitting inside, um, I had to find my Allen keys, put it on. Well, anyway, I found those, and uh, this is what the caliper looks like right here. I got it for uh, $16 on Amazon. And um, I came with a uh, set of pads already on there, like that. And um, the old one I had was missing these springs. The piston was locked up, and uh, this brake pad right here was bent. So uh, every time you hit the brake, it kind of just would stay locked up, and the four-wheeler couldn't move at all. And uh, you could unpry it, but as soon as you hit the brake again, it would uh, just lock back up and it wouldn't move at all so um uh i think this came with two sets of pads which wasn't advertised in the uh, description so that's pretty cool so for 16 dollars you get the whole caliper assembly with the pads already on there and a uh, separate set of pads for after so uh let's see the caliper goes on this way right here just like that. So then the bolts. Let me go grab those. They're over here. There's one and two. You can see this one is the Allen key. Uh, I originally took this off with vice grips and I just didn't really want to strip it out, so I just had to go find my uh, tools. And. Uh, See on there, there's these two washers. Uh, same thing with this, except this one has three. But anyway, they go, you put the bolt in here, and then those washers go in between the bracket and the actual caliper right there. Just kind of like uh, center it out. So um, I can't do that, uh, uh, I guess, on video because I don't have a stand or anything. So I'm going to hurry up and throw this on, and uh, I'll let you guys know how it came out. All right, so I got the caliper back on, and uh, this one went in perfectly. The washers are right here. The second one, I kind of had to put them here. This was, it was really hard to get through it through there, or underneath, or anywhere. But um, that should just stop the bolt from going all the way in and hitting this rotor here. So it's all on. Uh, this brake line's all tight. And the only thing... Uh, I should have done this before, but I gotta make sure these screws come off of here. And that one does, and that one does. So, uh, let me pop this off, see what we got going on here. I'm gonna bleed this, and uh, it should work. off pretty easily would have sucked if I got everything together and couldn't get this off couldn't bleed it because then I would have to replace the whole master cylinder and uh, while that's not really a big deal they're pretty cheap and easy to do but um well, the fluid actually looks pretty good all right so I'm gonna Top it off a little bit, put the uh, cover back on, and bleed it. So again, I will do that, and I will see you after. So the caliper's installed, all bled, works good, it's not locked up, and you see, you hold the brakes, don't go anywhere. So uh, for bleeding this, you have to leave this master uh, cylinder cap off so the air can come in send fluid down the line and uh push the piston out at first i didn't do that and then i forgot i'm like oh duh gotta leave that off pump it up bleed it and it's all good so um i think the next thing i'm gonna concentrate on you see how that tires kind of bowed out that one's nice and straight i believe the uh top of the steering knuckle broke 
and lift this completely off the ground. It's way more, uh, way looser than what it is now. See. So, yeah, it's not the hub. I know that. It's definitely, yeah, staring knuckle. You can see it. But, oh, yeah, it's, it's definitely broke on top. So, that's the issue with that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to order that up, and uh, that might be the next video. But uh, if not, just keep staying tuned for uh, other videos on these. Like I said, they both run, but I got uh, a couple issues I got to work out. So uh, thank you for watching. Please uh, hit that bell, like the uh, video, and uh, I'll see you next time.